What is a problem if nothing more than a simple collection of interconnected circumstances? Whenever you are confronted with a problem, it is not one single thing, one giant blot that stands before you as an insurmountable obstacle. It is actually a series of much smaller and simpler things that have interconnected in such a way to become the problem that you currently face. You can use this to your advantage. Because a lot of people approach problems from the totality. They see the whole problem. And while that is good, they then try to solve the whole problem at once, which is not so good. Often is there a much simpler way to tackle the whole problem than to actually tackle the whole problem. Use the fact that circumstances are creating the problem. Use that by examining them. Look at each circumstance individually that is involved in your problem. Find the ones that can be fixed individually. Sort of like pulling out the keystone and causing an entire archway to fall. You remove the one critical facet that makes your problem what it is, and then it is not a problem. As an example, let's say you're behind on bills, right? You have a bunch of bills, you need to pay them, and you don't have enough money. That seems horrible, right? Well, look at each individual bill, one at a time. See which ones can be addressed through other means. Take one bill, call them. Maybe you can get financial aid. Maybe you can have it put off, put it on credit. You could even set up a payment plan to take care of these things. You can talk to each individual person with each individual bill, one step at a time, and at least you can mitigate, ameliorate, or perhaps even eliminate the problem one step at a time. Not every problem can be solved this way. There are problems that are a total issue. However, I submit to you that these are rare. These sorts of problems are actually very rare, and that most overwhelming issues you will face are actually exactly as I have said, a series of interconnected circumstances. Find the weak link in these circumstances that create the problem and attack that. Solve the issues that make the problem a problem. If you can do this, you actually don't have to tackle the entire problem anymore. You've saved yourself a lot of effort and heartache. Be smart, be reasonable, and most importantly, be perceptive. Just something to think about.